Hello guys. Well, everybody starts off with hello guys. I'm sitting in the car, actually at HEB. I probably don't need my seatbelt, so you know, I'm just sitting here waiting for my wife. We're gonna fry up some fish tonight, some tilapia. Come on, I need to lose a few pounds, and I gained them all back since I got here. But, uh, I don't know, this video is about, uh, I could have mentioned this before, I don't usually do informational videos. I do a lot of stuff, food videos or wherever we're at and things like that, daily vlog. But this is about um, trying to find a, a carpenter in the Philippines to come work for you. Like when you ask them to. Not like two weeks from when you ask them or three weeks or a month. Uh, for instance, when we got the railings put on the outside of our house upstairs and inside, they showed up like a month later. And it took me a while to find uh, somebody to do the work. My father-in-law actually had me hide in my bedroom while he talked to the guys. Because if they saw there was a, um, an American, they were going to charge me like over a thousand dollars or something. But we got a good deal on it because I listened to him when I hid in the bedroom. But even that, we had to get a few different people, get estimates and things. But right now, there's some rendering, uh, finishing needs to be done on one side of the house next to uh, Kyle's, my wife's brother's, that was never finished. So I just want to get that done because water starts to leak in and get through the hollow blocks. These all, it's all cement blocks, hollow block, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, and then in the front where our fence is with the barbed wire and stuff, we want to do... Uh, like halfway up the fence, six foot, we want to do halfway up with hollow block. And close it in, up a little more privacy in the front there. Uh, and at some point we may take our stairs down and put them on the outside of the house. Because it would free up some space in the living room, but that's later on. And then of course, as everybody probably knows, because I mentioned it, we need to enclose our roof. Um, but that's not, not right now, I just want to get the... Uh, the finishing, the rendering, they call it over there. But trying to get a carpenter, like right now, our, our property is my wife's property on her parents' property. Her grandmother owns all the whole block. It was all given out to each one of them back in the day. And now my wife owns some. And um, her uncle decided to build. He hasn't finished it. He said he got inspired by our house. And, with my father-in-law's family there. They give him a hard time, his brothers and sisters, and they, you know, that's competition or what is. You know, even when we, uh, even when we uh, did our, uh, a little work in our house, uh, Jessica's aunt decided, oh, I need to do some work. As soon as they see something done in somebody's house, they want to do it, they want to go spend money. <laughs> So it's a competition for them. They're always fighting. It's just hilarious over there. But, but they're good folks. And uh, they're getting ready to do uh, Jessica's grandmother's roof over again. The house has been there for years. But she has a daughter here in Oregon. Her husband's retired. I think he's in Kennedy Oro Studio at the moment. So, and uh, the other uncle wants to finish his house. It's just a competition thing on there. Once they start working, everybody does. You know, and then you got to save your money. I'm like, we got to save ours up too. It doesn't cost much for the rendering, rendering that I want to get done. The thing is, is getting a carpenter. And each family member has certain other family members that do the carpentry. And they're all busy. So I missed out on getting the guy who built the house. I didn't want to use him again, but I will. But he's busy working on uh, one of the uncle's houses now. So uh, we're trying to find somebody else who actually is not from the barangay, not from the And uh, we'll see. Um, and the labor doesn't cost that much, but like what comes with it, you know, you got to feed them or uh, if you pay one price and they bring their own food and all that stuff. But I like paying them weekly and supplying food or snacks, you know what I mean? As long as they're not sitting around drinking Tandawai and Red Horse, uh, they can do that after the job's done. But I say that for that area because that's what my eyes see. I'm not saying nothing bad here. But anyways, just made a car payment. And I looked at some uh, pistolas. Home protection. But um, went to the Seri Seri store. They were closed on Mondays. They were closed yesterday. Uh, 
it's the only one around here. It's just so expensive. But anyways, getting someone to do the job and then keeping an eye on them that they will actually do what you asked. When I asked my brother-in-law to put the bob wire up, I just wanted it to go straight. No, I wanted it to go like this on the top of the fence. So he ran three wires like this and on the corners he did what I asked him to. And even when we put the fence up, I wanted a temporary fence. They put a permanent one up, which actually came out good. I bought extra supplies that I didn't need, but that's just the way it is. It's not a lapse in English or nothing because my wife's from there and she explained what we wanted, but they did it different. Still came out to be good, but that's what you deal with in the Philippines. And you see stuff uh, done totally different the way it's done in America, but it's still a great outcome at the end. It's just different. Like all the houses are done in hollow block there. And they're not like cinder blocks here. They're not as wide, but our house, we had a little extra stuff done, you know, make sure it's uh, earthquake proof. But you know how that goes. The ground's going to shake. It don't matter what kind of proof you did. But anyways, if you're new to the channel, it's just a little informational video on uh, getting a carpenter in there. You got to be persistent and you tell me, I would like you to start on this date. Well, guaranteed, even if they start on that date, they're not going to be there at 8 o'clock in the morning. They're going to get there when they get there. And you learn that and you get a little respect. These guys know what they're doing. They're very resilient. They need to get something done, they'll do it. For sure. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Once again, if you're new here. And give it a like. Hit the little thumbs up thing there. That helps out the channel from what I understand. And you guys have a great week. It's Monday here. It's uh, Monday night in the Philippines, I think. I'm not sure. But anyways, looking forward to some tilapia tonight. And watch our shorts. We do a lot of food shorts and whatever else, you know, I can come up with. All right, guys, take care.